David, thank you for talking to FrankWarren.tv. Uh, we've seen Enzo Macronali. We know he's in great shape. How has your training been going? Yeah, good, good as usual. You know, I always train hard. I'm always in shape, and I'm always ready to go to war. I don't know if you ever get a chance to get on the YouTube Frank Warren website because the fans are on there, and we get, you know we get so many comments. We're going up into the hundreds now, but it's real 50-50. All your fans are battling for you, but obviously Enzo Macronelli's fans are battling for him. Are you aware that there's this much, you know, anxiety and looking forward to the fight? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, get, I get I get emails from people saying that they're they're in their local pub and everyone's arguing about who's going to win the fight. That's what boxing is about. Everybody, if everybody knew I was going to blast them out in one round you guys probably won't be here, it won't be an interesting fight. The fact that there's so many different people, but not only thinking I'm going to win, but with such strong belief that I'm going to win or he's going to win, it's, it makes the fight that much more exciting and it makes it, it makes it a super fight and that's exactly what it is. A lot's been made of Enzo Macronelli's training techniques. Again, TV has been down there, they've shown the way he's trained, it's been in some publications about his boot camp. Have you seen the way that he's been training for this fight? No, not really. Um, I heard someone said he trains, he's really cold down there. Good for him, you know. It's not a Rocky movie, this is reality, you know. Um, I train in uh, Miami, it's nice and hot down there. When, when you get in the ring to fight, it's nice and hot in there. If, like, if you fought in a cold climate, okay, I understand training in cold, but if, you, if you're training under the lights with the, the big stage lights, the camera lights, it really gets really hot in there. And if you're used to training in the cold, it's not going to be the best idea. For, I don't think actually fighting in a, in a hot ring. You've mentioned, you said that you're a better all-round athlete. We know that you, be, you believe that. You know, but again, it, it could be said that athletics is a sport, but in a half marathon is a sport. If this fight goes into the later rounds, do you consider yourself a better athlete in terms of stamina? Yeah, definitely. I'd outrun him in any distance. And I don't know where everyone gets uh, where he got his stamina from. Maybe the, the Carl Thompson fight, which is about four years ago. It's a long time ago. So uh, maybe that's, they're still going by that. But if you go by that, you know, hopefully he is, hopefully he's looking at that Carl Thompson fight and thinking, oh yeah, if you're getting past three or four rounds, he's yours. But then again, my last opponent, uh, Mormick, the world champion, his team thought that they thought, okay, tuck up, let him punch himself out in the later rounds. We'll, we'll get, he'll have his best work. He actually knocked me down early doors. He didn't work as the fight went on. I got stronger. Thomas Bonin had the same idea. He, his, his people told us after they said they wanted to keep nice and tight pressure me you know get me get me unsettled get me to throw loads of punches and get me tired well he got knocked out in one round before that uh, Fragomeni he had the same idea keep nice and tight walk me down get me throwing lots of punches you know throw quick quick clusters of punches he tried that he got knocked out in nine rounds I think it was there you go people have tried it and people have failed uh, I'm not sure what, what why he thinks he, he's any different You've mentioned that his style is almost perfect for you, better than Mormek, who yeah, you won yeah. your two belts from. Yeah. What is it? What is it about the way he fights that's so great it's for you? That he, it's the fact that he thinks he's better than he is, and the fact that he tries to punch hard, the fact that now maybe he's trying not to punch as hard, but try to throw more punches. Uh, I, if I could pick any trainer to coach Enzo Macanelli to fight me, I would have probably said Enzo Calzaghi. His style of throwing lots of punches, pressure fighting, in and out, trying to do this sort of lean back, jab, lean back, that's beautiful. I'm so glad that he's training with him because it'll make it that much more easier for me. You know, when you, when you go into this fight, David, I know that you don't, you don't, you don't talk tactics and the way you're going to handle it. You've mentioned his style and what's great about his style. What about your style? What are you going to bring to this fight? How are you going to win this fight? I'm just going to be myself. Let, it go, let the bell ring, go out there, do whatever, whatever shots I see, I'll throw. Whatever he tries to bring, I'll adjust to it and uh, take him out. As soon as I start, as soon as... As soon as, as soon as the first bell goes, the, the fire smile, it's just, it's just about going through the motions for me. Um, at this press conference, you seem just a little bit more business-like. You know, you're, you're ready to go. Your weight is clearly down at the moment. Have you felt like, as the press has been going along, that they actually have no respect for you in terms of what you've I achieved? I haven't uh, been following any of the press. I've been, in, I've been in America for five weeks. I just got back yesterday, so I haven't seen any of the, the build-up to it. I watched Inside Sport last night. I had a nice little build-up on that. That was the first bit I've actually seen. Um, so I, I don't really get involved in that. I don't really read too much about the fight. It doesn't matter. What's going to matter when the when the bell goes? You know, I've seen I've seen seen enough of Enzo Macronelli in the past to know what I'm up against, and uh, it's going it's going to be a one horse race. Finally, have to ask you the weigh-ins Friday. How's your weight, David? Weight's great. You'll see you'll see at the weigh-in how good my weight is. It's not a problem whatsoever.